Hello, today we look at a little known Linux distribution called Nobara. It's somehow related to Fedora, although according to their website it's not a spin off of Fedora. Simply put, the Nobara project is a modified version of Fedora with user friendly fixes added to it. The aim of this project is to fix issues missing in Fedora to make a better gaming streaming and content creation experience out of the box on this distro. They do so by making it easier for a typical point-and-click user to install Wine together with its dependencies, OBS Studio, third-party packages like GStream, third-party drivers like NVIDIA drivers, and other small package fixes. This distro comes in three desktop versions. We have the official, which is based off GNOME. Then there is the GNOME and KDE versions. Let's now dive into this distro. Upon installation, you are greeted with this welcome screen, which will help you set up your system and get started. You can start by setting up your system. Go to step one, and here you can update your system. You can also install Patented codec libraries, install NVIDIA drivers, install apps from the software center or web apps. So you need internet connection for this. And then the next phase you can install Blender, you can install Kden Live, install OBS Studio, or even the Discord. Optional steps you can install the AMD drivers, XONE drivers. Install DaVinci Resolve fix ups and then Proton GE. Under look and feel, you can choose the login manager you want. You can install new themes and icons and then you can change the layout. And here you can choose from this is the traditional one we have. You can change to a Windows 11 look, the Spineapple, Unity, GNOME 2, and GNOME. You can also change the theme colors to whichever one you prefer. You can also add extensions to your desktop. These are just GNOME extensions. Then troubleshoot issues and here you can update your system or check out the various forums or the documentations on how to solve your problem. Now on the official flavor we have a taskbar at the bottom and a desktop with icons. Looking at the taskbar, on the left side there is the start button with the Nobara logo which launches the start menu. And here you can scroll to find apps or simply search for them. The one special feature you will find here is the activities overview which switches from desktop to gnome like overview. It's a bit weird, especially if you're used to GNOME, where you normally achieve this by pressing the Windows key. Well, in this case, if you press the Windows key, it launches the Start menu. Below that is the usual logout, lock screen, restart PC, and power off buttons. On the far right, still on the taskbar, we have the tile window settings. You have the options to toggle on or off. You can adjust the active border radius or you can adjust the gap between tile windows and the edges. The next to that is the usual sound, network and power settings and date slash time. If you go to settings, you quickly realize how similar this version is to GNOME. In the about section, we have the usual details both about hardware and software. The OS name is Nobara 38. It's a 64-bit OS using GNOME 44.2. It supports Wayland and the Linux kernel is version 6.4.10. For software, you can download from the Software Center app. You can also check out the Nobara Package Manager. Let's now check out the terminal. And here, let's try and run NeoFetch. Great, it works. 
we have pre-installed softwares like Firefox, LibreOffice, Fedora Media Writer, Inkscape, and Steam. Apparently, this distro is customized for gaming, so gamers, you can try this out and leave a feedback in the comment section. Anybody else can also try this Linux distro. Personally, I think this is a good Linux distribution and a good alternative for Fedora. You should definitely check it out if you are looking for a new operating system for your PC or laptop. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel or watch another video on this channel.